there is a common theme on the internet that you don't need to exercise in order to lose weight. Is there some truth to this? The answer is there might be. However, do you really want that to be the option? That's what we're gonna discuss today. Now, to be honest, it's quite easy on paper to lose weight. There's a couple theories. There's the calories in, calories out. There's the don't eat carbs, camps. There's all these different ways of doing things. However, it's actually quite simple on paper. Just stop eating so much bad food and what happens? You start to lose weight. But I'll tell you what I've noticed in my practice. I've been in practice for over 28 years and I've been athletic all my life. Got some food here for the road. And I've noticed that when people start to lose weight, there's certain things that happen to them. So let's get on on the road and we'll discuss. Let's discuss. All right, firstly, let's discuss the old calories in, calories out. This actually works for a lot of people. And what does it boil down to? You're eating less food. It's so simple. Whatever you're eating, cut it by 20%. You're gonna eat less calories, you're gonna lose weight. So that's one way of doing it. The other flip side of doing it is to look at your macros. Make sure you're getting enough protein, adequate fat, and keeping your carbohydrates to a reasonable level. That works too. Now let's talk about what I like to call the isolation diets. That is where you're restricted to eat only one food like bacon and eggs or steak or plants or fruitarians. Some people just only eat one particular food type, let's say fruit or steak. What happens in all these cases? They lose weight. Fruit, they can eat fruit. What movie is that from? Now, never once do any of these groups say that it was the exercise, that you can exercise away a bad diet. No one's ever claiming that. But I'll tell you what I notice with patients that follow diets that don't endorse exercise as part of it. They essentially become smaller versions of their bigger selves. So the biggest challenge that I, as I see it, is that what I notice with patients that go on these diets where they don't exercise, they lose weight. I mean, there's no question, but they went from this size to this size and they still look big. So their body shape hasn't changed. It's just a smaller version of their shape. If someone looked at you from behind, you look like a big marshmallow and now you look like a smaller marshmallow. Still soft though, not rock hard. This whole idea that all you need is diet is working for a lot of people. However, the way to solve this problem of instead of being a 280 pound person who looks big and now you're 220 and you look big is to actually exercise. Now there's different types of exercise, of course. There's weight training, there's aerobic exercise. And if you wanna get your heart healthy, you do aerobic exercise. If you wanna get your muscles strong, you lift weights. Which one's better? Why do we have to choose? Why not just do both? But for most people that are really big, it's very difficult to do these exercises, so you gotta start somewhere. That's why walking, for example, is one of the easiest things that you could start with. Hello. Put one foot in front of the other. What TV show is that from? I know. What? Rudolph. There you go. Hopefully this should make sense that if you were in theory, not gonna change your diet at all and start walking two hours a day, wouldn't your body change? Of course it would. So exercise does play a role in weight loss. So of course, you do you. Lose weight any way that you want. I'm just letting you know my experiences with dealing with patients that are trying to lose weight. Their body composition changes with this regime. 